Time now, time beckoning Time out of memory Glimpses of dreams not yet dared Reborn romance Second chances past reckoning The future now, now is repaired here at the high mark where all waters rise before they start falling away widen the moment in front of your You can dance through all time in a day Lamb in the oven and cinnamon Ginger and songs from your grandmother's heart Easter time family Gathers for dinner, take your place till they're ready to start. Early this morning, out under the apple tree, falls drops a dapple in the sun. Cidery air up to blossoms, cerulean Grandfather's blessings begun At a still point, I knew you to stay But the world turned then it slips away Gone down the apple tree Long gone the family Raised in the home That they built in its place Right to the strains of a loopy calliope Reaching for brass rings they no longer make But you'll find an apple tree everywhere now The forest in new fallen snow Gull above beach cliff towers in Tuscany Cradle them, then let them go In the windlessness on a canyon floor Breathe the sky down in Then again before Each dip of the paddle Each flick of the pen As God writes your name In his hand His name is Darian, and he keeps taking the books. He wears dark 
black, cool sunglasses, and his ponytail twines past his butt. His big hands claw ten books at a time, tendrilled piles on chemistry, on combustion, Rousseau and the revolution, the age of Voltaire. Damien's got 12 rolling carts to fill, each yellowed stenciled with the words UCLA Library. I want to grab the books back. No, not that one, not Feynman's QED, not the histories of the world, part one and part two, not the maps of the ancient sea kings. On which day did my father wind into the tired bookstore at Wilshire and Veteran in Los Angeles, or at Pennsylvania and M Street in Washington, D.C., sift through the tables, lay out hard cash, collect yet another edition of Samuelson, say to himself, Jules Verne is my hero. I need another copy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Did my father know he already had four copies? How many years did he carry books home in brown satchels or in his old Plymouth, then the brown Volkswagen, until he amassed these 5,000 books all to be taken away by Darien in a matter of an hour or two? In the age of electrons and screens, what is a book anyway? Just an old storage device disappearing like papyrus rolls and long playing records. Maybe reading sucks atoms from the ink, makes the pages less distinct as one of us fades. Maybe we merge with the book. It climbs into our skin as scanned pages scurry to life and memory. They say a library is lost when a person dies. Have we scattered my father across the students of UCLA like the ashes of the Library of Alexandria? I think about Ptolemy, how he built his collection of 700,000 volumes by stealing scrolls from ships and visitors, scribe after scribe, a thread kept alive, hoping the moths and flames wouldn't win. Darien is almost done. The books will be sold to students, to be hoarded for a year or 20 years, then returned to some other library and recycled again and again until one book lasts so long it has value, or more likely, it is burned like Alexandria into ashes. Did I mention the ashes? Darian is gone. He left two books. One is a book on the last 10,000 years. The other is a math book. My father wanted me to learn math. Thank you. <laughs> Come next week. Bye bye. Time keeps going on, time keeps going, and the people, they keep dying. Well, time keeps going on, time keeps going, and the people, they keep dying. Stop gun violence, don't be silent, cause we need to save the people. Stop gun violence, don't be silent, cause we need to save the people of the world. Well, why is this happening? What can we do to spread peace and love around the world? Why's this happening? What can we do to spread peace and love around the world? Time keeps going on, time keeps going, and the people Sorry. and the children, they keep dying. Well, time keeps going on, time keeps going, and the children, they keep dying. Stop the bombings and the violence, cause we need to save the children stop the bombings and the violence because we need to save the children of the world well, why is this happening what can we do to spread peace and love around the world why is this happening what can we do to spread 
peace and love around the world. Think of Martin and the children and his peaceful quest around the world in his yeah, peaceful quest around the world. Think of Martin and the children and his peaceful message seen around the world. Well, no more hurting people, no more hurting people, peace on earth to everyone. No more hurting people, no more hurting people, peace on earth to everyone. Good night, good night. Good night. <laughs> toilet, new toilet, composting toilet, usurper of the behemoth, the fishing crate of the original Clivus Moltrum, the big boxy, homeless throne that never made it into the tiny house where every square inch of its, of its 128 square feet counts. You ordinary cream colored toilety looking thing <laughs> huddled in your corner like a Persian cat, your size a small trash can your volume extruded from the footprint of the seat, lidded and black handled, a crank like on an old fashioned ice cream maker or a butter churn, efficient concealer of sheetrock bucket and gallon jug, an aptly named sea head, a and so petite, so perfect. Claude runs to tell me each time he uses you, insisting I will love you too, but that I must practice getting right with you. While to myself I think, how difficult can you be and avoid you? What worse failure than to fail at toilet? <laughs> and what would that mean? To sit and sit and sit and wait for the filling of the blank page while my mind wanders and the page remains pristine with overconscious embarrassment. And I think about a room, about constructing a room of my own out of the whole cloth of the blank white sheet I tie with bands and loops the tie-dyed pink Medusa I pull from the washing machine, cut and sew as curtain, as wall, a room we might share, a rose haven for the waste. Once there were just you and I, now, worldly wide, Echoes resound my ever faint cries to know of you, here, so far beyond those days, as I fall breathless within the deep, bottomless voids of my heart, dredged by long, faded, long lost love. Thanks. Caution. When I'm flash, rapping, front, talking, shop, shooting. No remix clip or lyric trick. Front stroke, back stroke, side stroke, no joke. Serious to delirious, I am busting loose. Rich rapping, the anti-discriminator, the culture barrier breaker rehabilitator. We come from tough times, broken homes, and too much alone. Seeking thrills with booze and pills and getting stoned. We speak with despicable language, but never lose sight of our children. We lyricize provocative attitude while teaching the world how to freestyle, how to get real low, how to shake that mind into a planetary orbit better than any university degree you ever had, real or imagined. We are the multisyllabic, rhythmically significant, critical bit of wit 
that does more for race relations than any act of Congress. So ch check it at the door and shut it as we genuflect and show you how to hammer the hammer that makes the it the it worth the it to spit. Because it is what it is, except when it isn't what it is was never what it was. Now what it was is what it is because we redefined what it is that made it what it was and set it straight. So that black boys and white girls and white boys and black girls and black girls and white girls and black boys and white boys and everybody in between wouldn't be wrong to show some respect. It may be nice. I'll have a big old soiree at the cafe. We eat to this, drink to that, chit and chat. And fill the nights with open mics, rhyme and tide, inspired by your beautiful poetic voices. And we'd all be laughing and crying and just spilling out emotion all over the place. And when we're done, we'll all be hugging and sighing and saying goodbye. But before we do, say goodbye. Promise. You'll give these words the good home that they deserve so they can grow up strong and proud, role models for future generations. Thank you. In the middle of the meadow, there's a hollow in the hill. Sloping southward, slightly sheltered by branches of a willow. In winter you can't see it, just a shadow in the snow. In spring there blooms a garden where purple iris grow. And you wonder why they grow there What's the story of their sowing The past's a distant mirror There is no way of knowing Did a farmer plant them there Did a rodent hide her nest Did a child place a marker where a pet was laid to rest. No foundation tells their story, no path provides a clue. There's no history, no legend to reveal their truth to you. In the end, doesn't matter, the result is what you know. A garden in the meadow Where purple iris grow So make your mark upon the stone Write your words upon the wind Paint a picture, build a tower Give comfort to a friend Your hand will touch the future Though your name be lost at last If you leave behind some beauty Purple iris in the grass Your mark upon the stone, write your words upon the wind, build a tower, plant a flower, play the mandolin, reach out to the future, whatever seeds you sow, leave behind a garden. Purple Iris grow 
leave behind a garden where purple iris grow. Thank you. Crossing the road from orchard to farmhouse, I pause mid stride in the stunned surprise of unexpected recognition. Much as that morning in the Prado, when a bride on honeymoon in Spain, I turned and came face to face with a stateside acquaintance. Unknowingly, long on separate trajectories, we had traveled from that crowded city of our past to meet and nod in wonderment, odd witnesses reaffirming the world's smallness. Now, this distant July noon, visiting old Frog Pond Farm, I sense again that vertigo of the once familiar struck incongruous, a mimosa, constitutionally unsuited to this New England climate, reels me back to my adolescence when I knew well those supple, smooth-barked limbs and the squat shade of their canopy, where I imagined possibilities far away from my Arkansas home with its hemmed-in yard, that airless yard in which my breath was held, waiting for an escape route to be revealed. Twirling a tufted pink mimosa bloom, I became a tall-skirted ballerina, half listening as Aunt Evelyn drawled, Aunt Evelyn, my mother's sister, a vivacious daughter of the South, once famously teasing that she was 21 before she understood damn Yankee was not a single word, but two. Aunt Evelyn, who nevertheless found no fault when I fled, opting instead to impress upon me the necessity of a smile, that life is empty without friends. Aunt Evelyn, whose death these 15 years has left a daily chronic ache, a memento, like this leaf I reached to pluck and damply press against my cheek. Thank you. What can words do today? I need living, breathing beings, not words. But here I'm scrawling letters on paper, hoping for meaning, words that mean safety. I'm safe. Words that mean love. I'm loved. Words that mean I feel love. I do. Words that mean I understand. I don't. So that was what I brought. We welcome you to Earth, little baby, little star. We have awaited your arrival from near and afar. The morning rays give you a glittering crown of light. Oh, how your pitter-patter and ringing laughter give us delight. You fill our hearts with joy and pride that we were inevitably overcome with awe inside. Your gaze, blushing cheeks, and unfettered curiosity touch our hearts. They are an exquisite, silvery works of art. Already your childhood dreams are blazing and alive. In your infinities and unfathomables, you will thrive. Within the sea of infinity, is a tiny forever that you will outshine and outpace being successful in every endeavor. Be that person who strives to be finite in your own vicinity, blessed with talent, knowledge, kindness, and divinity. Be a superhuman who is never too afraid to go the extra mile. Someone who is not afraid to be emotional, never fail to smile. Don't be afraid to take chances to be your own person with signature moves. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the earth. 
Oh, your lovely existence will be precious as your worth. Thank you. I want you to know one thing. You know how this is. If I look at the crystal moon, at the red branch of the slow autumn at my window, if I touch near the fire the impalpable ash or the wrinkled body of the log, everything carries me to you. As if everything that exists, aromas, light, metals, were little boats that sail toward those isles of yours that wait for me, well now, if little by little you stop loving me, I shall stop loving you little by little. If suddenly you forget me, do not look for me, for I shall already have forgotten you. If you think it long and mad, the wind of banners that passes through my life and decide to leave me at the shore of the heart where I have roots, remember this, that on that day, at that hour, I shall lift my arms and my roots will set off to seek another land. But if each day, each hour, you feel that you are destined for me with implacable sweetness, if each day a flower climbs up to your lips to seek me, ah, my love, ah, my own, in me all that fire is repeated. In me nothing is extinguished or forgotten. My love feeds on your love, beloved. My love, and as, uh, sorry, as, long, as love feeds on your love, beloved, and as long as you live, it will be in your arms without leaving mine. Thank you. Peach and pear.